what's good youtube it's your girl anessa back at it again with another video thank you so much for tuning in before we even get started make sure you like and subscribe to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for tuning into my channel if you're returning baby girl and baby boy welcome back i missed you where you been at i know where i've been at but um, neither here nor there let's get it okay it's a story time so this story is about the time i went to southeast asia to study abroad okay and how i almost ain't make it okay so it was like the day of graduation i ain't like i'm real lit i can't wait because that that night we gonna turn up so my grandma she called me like prior to like the turn up she's like did you pack everything you got everything whoop, 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 whoop. and of course i'm just like yeah girl mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but um I ain't packed nothing. I had nothing together. So, red flag number one. Like, listen to y'all parents. Listen to y'all grandparents. When they ask, when y'all tell, when they tell y'all to do something or anything, it be a reason. So just listen. Just do. That's it. Just listen. Just do it. Cause girl, I didn't, and I was okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. All right. So we get to the club. It's lit. We chilling. Whoop de whoop. Um. The next thing I know, I wake up the next day on my homeboy couch with a dead phone. I have no idea how I got there. Sorry, come on, if you're watching this, but girl, I, it was a rough one. All right, it was rough. Um, and my phone was dead. And I had no idea what time it was. And I'm pretty sure when I woke up, my homeboy had been gone already. Like, he had to work or something. So, it was, I was in the house by myself. And... The clock on the oven was wrong. So I, I didn't know what time it was. So finally, I got to my LS house. And I mean, by that time, I realized it was like a little after noon. Now, mind you, I have to get on a plane by 4 o'clock. So that means I have two hours to get to the airport, which means I have to pack in two hours and make sure I got everything, right? So I'm packing. I'm just throwing stuff in the bag. Like, just throw it in the bag. Like, literally, just throwing stuff in the bag because I, I don't have time. I got to get there. I, I ain't trying to miss this flight. I didn't, I didn't plan for this. I didn't save for this. I didn't. Baby girl, we're going. Okay? And if I ain't got it, I'm going to just have to buy it. That's That literally was my motto. So my mom's supposed to get to the crib, and she's taking me to the airport. Right? So it's lit. Like, can't tell me nothing. I'm on cloud nine because y'all can't even spell Cambodia. Can y'all? Oh, 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 all right. You can't. And I'm about to be there. Y'all ain't never even seen it. Y'all be going to Southeast Asia. Y'all be going to Thailand and see. But anyway, I was about to be in Cambodia. I was about to be in Vietnam. Girl, you can't even spell for. Can you? But anyway. Um, we pull up to the little, the little drop off at the airport and, um, as we're turning in, my mentor calls me, my college dad, shout out to Jordan, shout out to Air and, and Bean and Sprout, if you know, you know, but anyway, um, so he's like, yeah, you got this. I'm like, check. He like, you got this. I'm like, check. He like, you got your passport. I'm like, and at that point, my stomach sank to my ass. Like, I was just like, bitch, do you got your passport? Huh? Like, bitch, did you, did you remember it? Did you, bitch, did you back it? Because I don't remember seeing it all day. And I'm just like, well, maybe I've been packed it. Because there ain't no way I took it to, with me to the club because I had my ID. So I was just like, oh. So I'm like, man, I don't know. So I get out the car, go to the back seat, and I'm just throwing stuff out the suitcase, y'all. It was so bad because it was just this really big backpack. Like, it stopped, like, right here at the top, like, the middle of my head. And it, like, was, like, by my, my thigh meat. Like, that's how big the book bag was. Like, from my head to my thigh meat. And I'm short, y'all. So it was basically my whole body. It was literally a book bag my height that I carried on my back. But anyway, um... A disaster because as I was pulling stuff out I was getting more nervous because I don't I didn't remember seeing it so I was just like hmm 
So someone was like, Lanessa, just look in your purse. Uh, like, look in your purse. Clearly, it's in your purse, right? No. So I look at my purse, and I'm like, oh, here it go, right here. Y'all, I pull it out, and it was my passport cover. The cover. The passport is gone. It's gone. I don't know where sis at. Like, sis just in the wind. And she know we got some place to be. And she is not where she's supposed to be. So, of course, I'm upset. Like, I'm pissed the freak off. Like, I'm so pissed. Because I'm like, I need to get on this flight. And I'm about to be late. Like, mind you, I was one of the first people there. They're like, where everybody at? And I'm like, on the way. I'm on the way. And now I wasn't about to be on the way. Because, baby, I got to find out my passport at. So, of course, I call my grandma and she starts ripping me because she basically, if I would have made sure all this stuff was done, then I would have knew my passport at, right? So, we go back to the crib and we're trying to find a passport. So, I call my professor and I'm like, Miss Lady, I know you don't know me and I don't know you, but um, I ain't about to make that flight. And she's like, what? Blah, 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 blah. Like, she ripping me. And I'm like, sis, I really don't need this right now. Like, I understand you upset, but baby girl, this is my money. Okay? Like, my money went to this trip. All right? It, it ain't you, Mr. Mamas. It's me. So, she was like, okay. Well, call. she was like, I'm going to see if we can get you on another flight. If you're positive, you didn't lose your passport and you just, it's somewhere. Because I'm like, if I lost this passport, it's as good as gone. Like, And I can't go on a trip because it's not like you can just walk up to the office and be like, can you print me another passport? It don't really work like that. So my grandmother calls me back. Hey, y'all, what I'm about to say next is going to blow y'all mind. Because this is nuts. Like, I don't even know how it happened. I mean, I know how it happened. But anyway, my grandmother came to campus earlier that week to drop off um, my iPad, right? Because I wasn't taking a no computer abroad. So she dropped off an iPad for me, right? And in the process, she was like, oh, well, let me go ahead and take, you know, copies of your passport. Smart, right? Y'all, I'm doing the copies. And I am absent-minded. And I will leave and forget stuff. I do it all the time with my, my debit card, my keys, my wallet. I do it all the time. That's why I don't carry cash because it's good as gone. Okay. And I guess I just set my passport on the side of the printer so my grandmother picks it up. And I left my passport cover inside my purse because, I mean, I had to take it off anyway to take the copies, right? So my grandma puts the passport in her, her purse for a moment. Just for a moment. Momentarily. My grandma also forgetful too. She, she'll she forget something. And both of us forgot that she put the passport in her purse. So the passport is two hours away from charleston where i live two hours away that's my grandma at so i tell my professor i'm like baby uh, i know where it's at but i ain't gonna get in about until two hours so she was like well we cutting it close because i found you a flight but it's cutting it real close from because i was flying to new york and from new york we was gonna fly to asia so she was like it's cutting real close and i was like all right man well, we just gonna have to do what it do like we gonna have to see so my mom my grandma was like well, I'll meet you in Orangeburg, which is about 45 minutes both ways. Like, 45 from her, 45 from me. So, I was like, you know what? Okay, cool. Now, this it gets even more frustrating because I really don't have a ride. Like, my LS had some place to be. But anyway, she still took me. She missed us since the graduation. Who, which I was so sad. I was so hurt about that because it was just like, girl, all of this could have been avoided, sister. Like, just listen to your grandparents. That's it. Just, just do it. So I finally get my passport from my grandma. She still side eyeing me, so she, I come to the window to get the passport. I'm like, thank you, I love you. She's some, some. Mm hmm. Girl. So I get to the airport. And I'm stress eating because I'm just like, oh my God, like I'm so nervous. Like I, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Like I'm, I'm just way too nervous. So as I'm sitting there eating, I think I was eating like Burger King. I think I had a little Popeye's. I think I had a little, little Cinnabon. Like I was, I was in that airport snacking. Okay. Like grubbing. Um, and I'm just watching my flight get delayed over and over and over because it was raining in new york 
And I'm just like, yo, what am I going to do if I, like, am I, because basically, if I got to New York and they had already left, I was kind of going to be stuck in New York unless they could have found me another flight or I was going to have to come back home. Like, and they probably wasn't going to be able to get another flight to me until like two or three days later because they would have had to land in Asia already before they could even send for me. So it was just, it was just mad crazy. It was just, it was really nuts. So finally, I get on a flight. And it was like the longest flight of my life. Like turbulence, like I'm about to throw up. I'm so nervous, like I'm sweating. My hands are sweaty. Cause I'm just like, sis, I gotta make this flight. Like I gotta make this flight. Like I, I'm so excited, so ready to go to Asia. Like I, I can't miss this, okay? I can't miss it. I can't. Get to, um, we, we finally land. And I'm stressing because I don't know where my bag at. My book bag, I don't know where it's at. So I'm like panicking. I'm looking everywhere for this bag, y'all. I go up to the flight attendant. I'm like, sis, I got somewhere to be and I cannot find my bag. I think somebody took my bag off this plane. And she was like, baby girl, is your bag on your back? So I was like, at that moment, like, Lanesa, you're losing your freaking mind. Like, you, you done lost it, sir. Like, you lost your mind. But I was just so stressed out. And the way JFK Airport, it's like one of the worst airports in the world. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, it's probably the worst airport I've ever been to in my entire life. Because it's just unnecessary. Like, they were building onto the airport. So, it's like, you have to get on an air train to get to the other side of the airport. Because it's the only thing that connected to. And it's mad crazy because you got to go up some escalators, down some escalators, up some more escalators, down some more escalators. Just to get to where you got to go. So they blow my phone up like, sis, where you at? And I'm just like, I'm on the way. So I finally get to where the, um, where I think my I'm supposed to board at. And baby, it's empty, right? So like, there's nobody there to help or anything. I don't even see my professors or my, or my peers. So I go up to the little thing to scan my boarding pass and they telling me they don't got it. So I'm like, what they mean they don't got it? So I'm just like, okay, maybe something wrong with this one. So I go up to the other one. I scan my boarding pass. They tell me they ain't got it. And I was like, what they mean they don't got it? Like, how? How How not? How y'all don't have it? So, girl, my professor calling me. She like, sis, like, we about to start boarding soon. Where you at? And I'm like, okay, I'm over here. But where y'all at? And she was like, sis, I don't see you. And I was like, well, sis, I don't see you. And she was like, well, I don't know where you at. And I'm like, well, I don't know where you at. So, she was like, what do you see? So, I'm telling her, blah, blah. She was like, oh, you're at the wrong gate. And I was like, great. How how much farther I gotta go? Like that bag on my back was like carrying a midget, another like a midget on my bag. Like that joke was not fun, and it was packed up. And I had a bag, a purse bag, two girls. So I was just trucking, just trucking, like little legs, just, just it was it was it was so bad. Finally, pulled up on my um my professors. And I was just like, I was just so relieved because I'm like, oh my God, I ain't get, I ain't get left. So everybody's just like so happy to see me. Woo, 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 woo. So my poli sci professor, who I mean, that's why I was going on a trip. Um, it was a psych and poli sci study abroad program. I'm a poli sci um, major at the time. So he comes up to me and he's like, I'm so glad you were able to make it, blah, blah, blah. But I just hope this permanently removes your head from your ass for the remainder of the trip. And as much as I wanted to go off, I didn't have the energy. And I mean, I I couldn't argue with that man because he right. He right. But yeah, that's how I almost got left in the U.S. Um, while my peers went on our study abroad uh, trip. But I would recommend going to Cambodia and Asia. Um, I can put some pictures over here of my experience if you all would like. Um, or if y'all just want to follow me on Instagram, I'm going to put it down here and it's in my highlights as well. So you all can, um, actually sit there and look through that. Uh, if y'all have any questions about studying abroad, let me know in the comments. Um, feel free to ask any question. Um, I think studying abroad is an amazing experience. I think everyone should take advantage of it at some point. Um, because once you graduate, it's a lot harder 
to study abroad or i mean it's a lot harder to travel abroad um so i definitely would recommend doing it when there are um opportunities um to apply for scholarships um grants and financial aid packages through your university so definitely would rec recommend and um the food in vietnam it's pretty gas so that's another reason if you like to eat if you like to drink um beers and like shots cost like 25 to 50 cents so that's 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 a good um deal and then some shots cost like a dollar you know upscale stuff um but yeah we recommend cambodia and vietnam studying abroad um if you go to the college of charleston i absolutely would recommend those two program i mean that program um through psych and the poli sci department if you have any questions about that program specifically or my time studying abroad just let me know if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you hit the subscribe button and it's a wrap. Deuces.